Now, we've been talking about GDP as a way, as the primary way to measure um, overall production. But I want to briefly just look at a few other ways that we could possibly measure production. And that would be with the gross national product. and with the uh, net national product. Now, one of these is used a little bit more often than the other. The other one I'm just kind of mentioning, if anything, only for historical purposes. Um, the first one, which is largely a historical discussion, <coughs> is the gross national product. Um, sometimes you may see it referred to as GNP instead of GDP. And what this is doing is it's actually measuring the um, final market value of the goods and services produced by the citizens. So unlike um, GDP, which is kind of looking at this from a um, GDP, which is looking at this from a border perspective, GNP is looking at this from a citizen perspective. So for this, if you, in the case of this, the U.S. GNP would be whatever U.S. citizens make no matter where they are in the world. And so if you were an immigrant in the U.S., yours, your labor would not be, or not your labor, your consumption patterns would not be part of the um, GNP. Um, here, we're just trying to measure goods and services produced bought, sold, within, by the citizens rather than the border. We don't tend to use this too often because, um, you know, what, do we really care what, if I'm an American citizen and I'm making stuff in the Netherlands, like, does it really matter? I mean, for U.S. economic policy, we should probably just care more about what's being made within the U.S. At least that's the sense of what's going on here. The only part where this would be useful is if you were a country that sent a lot of citizens um, elsewhere in the world to work, because then what you'd be saying is that, yeah, our country is very poor, but our people are productive, and they do go abroad and produce many, many things. The other notion here is the net national product. the NNP, which is actually just GDP minus depreciation. Depreciation is our term that we use for how our capital is being used. So basically we're saying is that we're using like buildings and machines and whatnot to produce the annual output within the country if we're doing that, we're using up those machines and buildings, right? They're being partially used up to make the things. So it's probably going to be useful for us to subtract out how much of it was used to make the other stuff. Uh, because eventually that capital is going to have to be replaced. Uh, we're going to have to um, cover the fact that we have that um, depreciation.